What's up guys it's Ryan and you're watching Ryan Vision. If you haven't already make sure you like the video and subscribe for more. Everything that's been done to this Jeep has been covered in a video and everything that's going to be done to this Jeep will be covered in a video as well. So make sure you subscribe that way you don't miss out on anything. Also make sure you check out projectzj.com. It's a nice little website I threw together. Uh, you can search through all the different videos and the nice thing about the website is the videos are in the order that the uh, modifications actually got made to the Jeep. So if you're a newcomer, it's nice to go to the website and see the order that everything got done in. Uh, today what I'm going to go over is the new roof rack. It's made by a company called Rolla and the part number is 59504 for the rack. And it does have a 18 and 3 quarter inch extension piece. Um, that is part number 59505 and I found that with the extension piece the length ends up being just perfect for Cherokees, Grand Cherokees. So your XJs, your ZJs, your WJs, all of those are going to work out really nice with the rack and the extension. Um, right now you're looking at the rack with the extension. It's about 73 inches long from front to back and about 41 inches wide. Um, those are pretty rough measurements that I took myself. It's kind of a big rack, so it's a little tricky to measure precisely, but those are the rough measurements. Now, the reason I got this was the last couple times we've gone to the Rubicon, I've had uh, two passengers riding with me, so three people total inside the Jeep, and that can get really crowded. You know, you've got a spare tire in the back, you've got two toolboxes, you've got spare axle shafts, you know, you've got toe straps, all this stuff, your food, your snacks, um, any clothes, things like that. So it gets really crowded inside. You got tents, sleeping bags, all that kind of stuff. So what I'm looking to do with this rack is kind of empty out the, the, you know, cab a little bit, make more room, make more, make things more comfortable for the people riding in the Jeep. Um, but I don't want a lot of weight up there either. So what I'm thinking of putting up there is stuff like sleeping bags, um, those chairs that fold up and go inside the little bag, you guys know what I'm talking about, um, tents, you know, anything like that. Just lightweight stuff that takes up space, throw it up on top of the rack, get it out of the cab, and put the, the heavier stuff, uh, like I mentioned, the spare, the toolboxes, all that stuff's going to stay in the back of the Jeep, lower to the ground, keep the center of gravity nice and low. Um, so that's that's the goal really just to make things more comfortable on the trail and I gotta say I love the way it looks it definitely improves the looks of the Jeep too so that's an obvious perk so uh, let's take a closer look at it and I'll go over what it took to install it okay so here's a nice side shot to show you how perfect that 73 inch length is and it gives me just enough room on the front to mount my 40 inch LED light bar. You can see it sits back just a little bit from the windshield, but it sits back from the windshield just about as much as it sits forward of the back of the Jeep. So I love it, it's centered perfectly. Now, uh, one thing you're gonna be tempted to do, or at least I was tempted to do, is I went to the junkyard and I got some extra of these uh, factory crossbars, because I figured, you know, it's a pretty long rack, maybe I should run four of those. Well, as I run the camera across, you can see that the rack actually gets closer to the body of the Jeep, to the roof of the Jeep, because the roof has a slight curvature to it. Um, so if you try to do the uh, factory crossbars, that might not work so well, um, because it's going to try to push the rack up in the center. So uh, what my buddy Mitch wants to do is actually eliminate the factory crossbars altogether and uh, custom weld our own brackets on there to get this thing to sit as low as possible to the roof 
uh, and it'll be permanently attached which is fine with me so we'll definitely do that but for you guys that don't want to do any welding this is the factory crossbar in the absolute farthest back uh, slot I guess you'd say because these are adjustment they can they uh, adjustable they can slide forward and backward and this one slid all the way back and then this one up here is slid all the way forward and you can see it's just perfect now I don't really like again we're gonna weld it um, I'm not a huge fan of how the the rack mounts just because it's easy to steal um, and I don't know that there's really a way around that until you do go to actually like you know weld weld some brackets on or something you know if somebody wants your rack they're gonna steal it well since I'm planning to put an LED light bar on here I really want to make sure this thing can't be easily stolen so you can see right now there's just these plastic spacers um, that kind of lock on to the rails the cross rails on the rack and then they go under your factory rail they got a little rubber sleeve there and then uh, you know basically bolt threads coming straight up and then you got just a hand tightened uh, little plastic nut there and I mean yeah it gets it on there it's secure it's definitely sturdy right now it's not going anywhere but again if somebody had the time and they wanted your rack all they got to do is hand twist these off um, so I'm definitely going to do something about that, get those custom brackets welded on. But I got to say for, for a factory uh, or for a rack setup that uses your factory crossbars, this was a breeze to install. Um, I was able to do it by myself. So if you just get the rack, you don't get the extension piece. It's just going to be two big pieces. Um, basically it's split in half. So you can see these, uh, these little rubber sleeves right here. Basically, there's a screw here and a screw here and the rack just slides into itself. The two pieces slide together and then you, you put the screws in and the screws come with little rubber washers to keep water out and then these sleeves are supposed to keep water out too. Uh, so far, it's working pretty well. I actually did kind of get to test that out because it started pouring rain shortly after I got this installed. Um, and I don't see any evidence of moisture getting inside these sleeves. It's not wet at all uh, on the edge of the sleeves. I think the water just pretty much rolled right off. But again, this is another modification you could do is you could weld it together um, permanently and then you wouldn't have to worry about water getting inside. So uh, same thing here, because I got the extension piece, if you don't get it, you're only gonna have you know one seam on each side, but because I got the extension, I got a seam here, and then 18 three quarter inches down, I got another seam. So in my case, it ended up being a three piece rack, and uh, it was pretty easy you know, to, to do by myself. The hard part was once I got the uh, rack slid into itself and uh, got the screws all put in place, the hard part was going to the back of the Jeep and lifting the the assembled rack you know all three pieces it's pretty heavy because it is steel uh, I had to lift it over my head by myself and then slide it from the back forward and it was kind of catching on the factory crossbars and stuff but I did get it on there um, it, it pretty much centers itself at least on the ZJ uh, crossbars it pretty much centered itself just because the width is so perfect and so once it was centered up I just double checked everything and then I started putting those uh, spacers and clamps on and uh, just went around you know snugged them all up double checked my centering and then went back around and uh, cinched them all down as tight as I could so it's on there it's sturdy and uh, it looks great I would definitely recommend this rack and uh, if you want to get a good deal on it check out eTrailers.com and uh, just search for the part number 59504 for the rack 59505 for the extension and uh, I'm trying to remember I, I want to say it ran me right around 200 200 dollars I don't want to misquote so I'll correct myself in the video I'll put a, a little caption up to tell you guys the exact price but I think it was just over $200 shipped with the extension so that's a great deal for for a rack like this made of steel uh, very sturdy and a nice black powder coated finish so it'll last quite a while so uh, that's it for today guys